Very uh, uphill battle here for Blazing Pasta, but of course, Blazing Pasta is not used to. I mean, uh, he's he's definitely used to like overcoming challenges that are stacked against him. So he's not really kind he's of a good. Oh, he's good, man. He's very good. He's ranked number three right now in uh, PA in uh, Philadelphia. Not not PA specifically. In PA, I think he's in the top four. I think C3PO might be ahead of him just based on tournament um, results alone for overall PA. But I don't know off the top of my head. All right now, Wadi's very ahead of him here in this particular match, missing that toss there. Yeah, I mean, if he's in the air as Ness, like, usually you would say, okay, Ness is in the air, he's going to air dodge around, he's going to throw out some moves. You don't want to be in the air versus Mewtwo because Mewtwo's range is just so much larger than every one of Ness's moves. And lar lar not only larger, but quicker as well. Oh, yeah. So For he can kind of throw something and not feel like he's overcommitted to it. Yeah, his, his forward air comes out on frame six. So far, Blazing Pasta is still in the game with his first stock. Oh, he needs to, I feel like he needs to get... Wow, his, that was his, good micro spacing. I, I feel like he needs to be a little bit sharper with confirming those uh, those uh, sphere tosses. Because that can mean a lot of uh, healed percent if he, if he gets that right. It can be. Because you can jump cancel it. So it's like if you get it, you can just dip. Yeah, yeah. You can roll. It gets treated as a shield. You can even out smash out a shield. Ooh. All right. At All right. this percent... Well, at the ledge, Ness will kill Mewtwo, and on, anywhere on stage, Mewtwo will kill Ness. There it is. <laughs> there it goes. Nice, smooth pivot grab. Excellent. Wadi in down tilt, down tilt. Sharp down form. Tilt. Not even at 80% yet, so this is definitely a good form here. Yeah, and he waited. Wadi likes to wholly, uh, fully charge the Shadow Balls just so he has that option with him. He doesn't generally fire it all willy nilly, he likes to use it for spear. Yeah, and I think that's, honestly, that's a really good way to go about it, because you just don't know when he's going to toss it out. Yeah. Mewtwo actually when Oh, and here's an, another side note. When Ness is on stage and Mewtwo's recovering... He's dead. There you go. Ow, that was, yeah, I was disgusting. Jesus. But um, when Mewtwo's actually recovering from off stage and Ness is on stage, Ness's down smash can cleanly hit his recovery from the lower. In addition, if Mewtwo decides to do a jump from the ledge or a drop, he'll also get hit by a down smash. So... Oh, wow. Option I'm, coverage right there. It is huge option coverage on Mewtwo specifically. But, um... I mean, it'll just see if Blazing Pasta goes for it. He went for it earlier, and he just missed. But, um, yeah. Well, it seems like, uh... Ooh. It's... it's Blazing Pasta just really had a, a difficult time... Uh-oh. Uh, finding his way in. <gasps> Uh-oh. Ooh! He almost SD'd right there. Yeah. Wadi did. You know those situations where you get lightly hit off stage and yeah. you don't expect the hit to be so light, so you yeah. just kind of fall? That yep. looked like a situation like that, but yeah. while they maintain his composure. Or even just bounce off from his upbeat. <laughs> this oh. guy. Oh, you see, he's, he's, oh, yeah. he's establishing that fear you mentioned. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to active. He doesn't want to get healed. Oh. He doesn't want to heal Blazing Pasta, but Blazing Pasta is also trying to, like, feel him out. And while he's staying right out of the peak of fire range, like, he's staying right out of the range that it will end. Yep. Every right. time. Very smart spacing there. All right. Up throw from Mewtwo should kill now. Uh-oh. Oh, guy on his way back. Nice tried. patience. Nice. Nice. Caught the standard. He tried to catch the standard gap with the Shadow Ball, but Ness didn't get up at that time and still had Legend Mint's ability. So he waited and just got... I mean, that looked like just a scared scared standard Yeto. I yeah. don't. I don't think he caught the two for him. I think he just got him scared. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Pasta tried to move. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if he had held shield, he would have blocked that forward air. I like this Peach. I, I've lost to it <laughs> multiple times. Really? Yeah. His, uh, his, I mean, his Peach has caused a havoc in it, in, it, in his own area, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His Peach, uh, she's scary, man. Nice minty green dress. See, so, yeah, he's going to flow all over these uh, straight shots. <gasps> that oh, my. is so unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, but we take those, but... He, he actually just fast fell and, and died. Like, I just don't know what he was trying to do. You know, he he legit just pressed a button bad. That sucks. Well, let's see. Oh, oh well, here we go. All right, let's see if he can bring it back. That did 30%. Jesus. Okay, this is looking actually horrible. Like, like Peach herself, while she's good at pressuring and adding that damage, yes. I don't think she's very good from behind. She's one of those type of characters where it, it, it's very momentum based. She, like she needs rage, but she's not gonna be able to. She needs two stocks of rage, is what I'm saying. Oh, I feel like Wadi was probably prolling for an up smash there. Why is she probably feel comfortable right now? I would be. Oh, nope, anti air. See, if you have the good reactions, you can actually stop 
Peach from, from studying her aerial shenanigans. Very smart call from Wadi. Oh, oh, tricky movement there. This isn't looking good for uh, Blazing Costa. Not at all. That's and it. And that's going to take that stock at only 77%. Wadi definitely very lucky. That's uh, that's the definition of we take those. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. That was so unfortunate, though. I kind of feel bad. Yeah. It happens. I mean, you just SD. Right, We've all done it once.